this question is going to ask us to do exactly the same thing as question four. We want to find the area of a region and then find the volume of the region. So the problem we have got have here is finding out where does this two these two curves in in sex. So we've got e to the x and y is equal to two. So we can see the intersect somewhere there, but where is it? So again, we'd solve them simultaneously. Two would equal e to the x. Now we know that we have problems doing some of these ones. What we need to do is go back to our definition of our logarithm. So x would equal log base e of 2. Or if we write natural log of 2. So that's where it's going to intersect. Natural log of 2 is your x value and 2 is your y value. So that's where I'm able to start using the values here. So that's natural log of 2 there. Really, when I look at my area under the curve, under the line here, that's just going to be a rectangle. So that's why I'm able to say, well, that's natural log of 2 going up there, and that's 2 there. So the base times the height gives us 2 times natural log of 2. And what I'm going to do is take away the area under the curve here, and that will leave me the remainder, which would just be this area in this part here. So if I integrate e to the x between 0 and natural log of 2 that should give me the area under the curve which I can subtract so 2 natural log of 2 I leave it in exact form and then I'm going to subtract the derivative the integral of e to the x which would be e to the x so really this part here would integrate to give me e to the x between 0 and natural log of 2 and then I do the substitution natural log of 2 for into the x and then 0 again either the power of 0 is 1 either natural log of 2 if you throw that in the calculator you'll see that it's equal to 2 so it'd be equal to minus 2 and you got the minus of minus e to the 0 which is plus 1 which simplifies just to minus 1 so there's our answer 2 natural log of 2 minus 1 if the volume though if I look at it now I'm going to get a cylinder minus this shape here so I'm going to, I want to get the cylinder and then take away that volume there and that would leave me the outside volume there. So that's why we found the volume of the cylinder there which is pi times the radius squared times the height which is natural log of 2. And then we're going to go to zero, pi times e, and e to the power of x all squared would be e to the 2x. So again, we've used the idea that it's y squared. And y was e to the power of x, so that's why it's squared and becomes 2x. Again, between natural log of 0 and natural log of 2. So e to the 2x integrates to a half. e to the 2x, we substitute, and the pi stayed out the front. Pi keeps staying out the front. 0 natural log of 2, well, you put in natural log of 2. 2 natural log of 2, e to the power of that would become 4. You can throw that in the calculator, that's okay. And then minus e to the power of 0, which is just going to be a half. So a half of 4 minus a half would be 2 minus a half gives us the 1.5 pi. And we've just kept this as an exact form all the way through here, so we wouldn't have to worry. So that was our cylinder, and that was our volume under the curve, which just leaves us our remainder there.